Seth Dolly here, as always, on Tuesday with Tim Camp. Coach, you were able to pull off a 35-23 victory over Montana Western on Saturday. What adjustments did you need to make to pull off that victory? Uh, yeah, we, uh, we made some adjustments at the, actually at the uh, end of the second quarter that um, we kind of saw some things that were happening and uh, uh, made a couple adjustments on the sidelines. Kid, kids kind of got it, uh, but was able to go in and really show them halftime. And it really made a big difference in the second half. And, uh, you know, Montana Western's a really, really good run team. And they'll play action pass. But I was really proud of the kids to be able to make it. And they're just subtle adjustments, you know. They just make some adjustments uh, that would allow us to be in better position, you know, to, to be able to make the plays and to be able to hold a good offensive team, you know, uh, uh, to three points in the second half. Looking ahead to this weekend, you have College of Idaho on Saturday. The Oats are coming off a dominant win over Willamette University in Salem, Oregon. What are your thoughts on this game? You got to you got to prepare. I mean, the last time that uh, you know we we uh, uh, played uh, College of Idaho, you know, it was a, it was a very good football game out here. It was a, uh, not a real high scoring affair, you know, but it was kind of a battle back and forth. I'm expecting the same thing. They're tough, those kids. Uh, you know, they're going to come down here and give us everything. Uh, that they can they can give and they're going to try and win the game you know without a doubt I know Coach Morowski and those uh, coaches up there they'll they'll get them coached up and they'll get them ready to play I know that so we'll have our hands full each week and every Saturday and you know I expect nothing different uh, from College of Idaho than for them to come down here and uh, try and win the football game. Coach, you're off to a great start this season, ranked 10th in the country and leading the Frontier Conference right now. What's it feel like to have a target on your back? Well, that's the next. You know, I mean, that's a, that would be a, a great deal for College of Idaho to come down here and be the top ten team. You know, that could get their season turned around and, and going in the right direction. Not that it's not going in the right direction, but, you know, in the Frontier Conference, that would get them a win over a top ten team and, and, and get them pointed uh, in, in, in the correct direction uh, within our conference. And, you know, I, I think that's something, you know, I've addressed the kids about all week is to, to make sure that you understand, okay, hey, maybe, uh, maybe you earned it uh, to this point, but nobody cares about last week. I don't care about last week. I care about what's happening right now, you know, so um, I, I care about how we're going to practice this week, the focus, the, uh, the same sacrifice and dedication that we had during fall camp, and then to get into Southern, and then to, to, to be able to travel the right way uh, to uh, go up and be the top 25 school in Western Montana. You know, uh, I, I don't want to be I don't want to be close. I want to make sure that we're doing things the right way all the time because because that's how Eastern Oregon football is, you know, and, and those are standards, and we're going to hold everybody accountable to those standards. So, uh, yeah, we got a target on our back, and that's, uh, that's exactly uh, why we have to be able to come out very, very fast and, and do the things that we need to do and, and basically come play our style of football. Coach, you're now the all-time winningest coach in program history after getting that victory in Montana on Saturday. What are your feelings on achieving that status here at EOU? Well, you know, I, I don't, like I told you before, I don't know if it's good or bad. You know, I, I'm, I'm very honored. You know, our coaches have done an awesome job, coaches from the past year and coaches that are on our staff right now and players from the past, players from the present. You know, they've, uh, they've bought in and believed in our system, and, and we've been able to do some really, really good things here. And um, I, I knew if Andrew kept me around long enough that I, would, I was bound to get the record sometime, you know. But at the same time, very honored to be the head football coach at Eastern Oregon. And, and uh, shoot, I give all the credit to the coaches that have been here and the players that have uh, believed in, in our system and our style of play.